What's going on guys and welcome back to the carnivore only sanctuary last we left off we added in 10 more creatures and we're gonna add 10 more so For the next 10 I'm thinking we add six small carnivores Three medium and one large the large one. I'm thinking is gonna be giganotosaurus and we're gonna put it here with, I believe, the Allosaurus and the Suchomimus. Let's pick some of the smaller carnivores. Let's go with small for now, and Piscivore. We'll go with that, so we need six more carnivores. So so how many do we have here? We have five, 10, 15, 16, we have 18. So we have enough for basically one more round, basically the last six, pretty much. So we'll get the last six small carnivores, and then the rest of them are just gonna be the bigger ones. We'll get the last six small carnivores, and then we'll move on to some of the medium-sized carnivores as well as, and we'll save the hybrids for last. That's what I'm thinking. And anything hyper-aggressive will get negative traits. So like Indoraptor, Scorpius Rex, and Indominus Rex. I don't want them to be unstoppable. I want them to be kind of balanced. So since we only have six small carnivores left, might as well throw in the last of them. All right, that's that one done. Let's open up the next section with Herrerasaurus and Segisaurus. Those are the only ones we don't have. And then, oh, Proceratosaurus. We don't have Proceratosaurus here. Or Utahraptor, for that matter. So what we'll do is we'll throw these guys in here. There we go. So that's all the small carnivores taken care of. Let's move on to some of the medium-sized carnivores. So we got Albertosaurus, we got Allosaurus, Baryonyx, Carnotaurus, Ceratosaurus. So how many do we have all together? 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 19. So we need another three. So let's go with Concavenator. For this one, we'll go with, we'll go with, how about Megalosaurus for this one? Yeah, we'll do Megalosaurus for that one. And then for this one, we'll throw Gigantoraptor in here. And then for large carnivores, we'll put in Giganotosaurus. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll throw in this random version. Maybe we'll get a Dominion one. Maybe we'll get an Evolution one. Maybe we'll get both. Maybe we'll get one of each. Who knows? All right, so that's Giganotosaurus done. All right, let's see. What do we got for Australovenator? They don't have any movie skins, so we'll just throw those in. Dononicus doesn't have any movie skins. Um, all right, Concavenator. We'll go with that. We'll go with those two. Herrerasaurus. We'll go with all five of them. Segisaurus, all eight of them. Megalosaurus. We'll go with. We'll go with four of them. We'll put four of them in there. Proceratosaurus, all eight of them. Utahraptor, all four of them. For Gigantoraptor, maybe three of them. And then for Giganotosaurus, we got we got a Dominion and an Evolution. We'll go with both of them. All right, so we got the dinosaurs being hatched up. Let's start with hatchery number one. Let's release the Australovenators. We'll release the small ones first. The ones classed as small carnivores. And these are the last of the small carnivores. After that, it's all medium and large from here. Alright, that's Australovenator done. Let's move on to Deinonychus. So we can add more variety to the hog. Alright, let's release Herrerasaurus next. Alright, that's you done. Let's move on to Segisaurus. After that, Proceratosaurus. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a Proceratosaurus to the park. 
Then Utah Raptor. And that's the last of the small carnivores. Let's move on to the medium-sized carnivores, starting with Concavenator. That's Concavenator done. Let's move on to Megalosaurus. Followed by Gigantoraptor. <laughs> and finally, Giganotosaurus. Of course we can't see anything because of the grass. There we go. Well, that's a cool skin. So what's the skin for this guy? Limpopo River Blank Pattern. Huh. We could give this guy a name. He's not quite Zeb, but he's pretty close to Zeb. Maybe he could be like a... Like a sibling or something? Like a long-lost sibling or like a cousin? Hmm. I don't know. I'm just taking a few screenshots for the thumbnail and whatever. Alright, so now we have 30 different species in this sanctuary. We can have all different sorts of carnivores. And I wonder how many we have left. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's, uh, unfilter large. Alright. So we don't have acro. Alright, we got one, two, so how many do we have left? One, two, three. I'm not gonna count Dinochirus. Four, five, six. Hmm. Seven, eight. I'm not gonna count Spinoceratops either. Nine, ten, eleven. So basically we only have eleven species left. So for part four, we'll add in the last of the species. The last of the carnivores will be added in in part four. And then part five will be we have them cause havoc and fight each other. See who gets to survive and who doesn't. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We got a Velociraptor all the way over here. Cool. But yeah, the sanctuary is coming along nicely. And with that, I think that's going to have to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>